my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night it depends on where you're watching from welcome to my youtube channel when you finish watching please 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 consider subscribing my name is jen my return subscribers from here to you i love you thank you thank you so today <laughs> today this one is funny it's a funny video there was this boy called a kokoko a kokoko that's what they call me he's, uh, he's a nigerian only 23 years old and uh, he's doing his thing like i always told you guys i like people that are very very truthful i like people that are very very truthful i like people that don't come here carry bible and cover their face and say they are worshiping god when they are worshiping devil this guy told you that he is not a christian that he is a traditional man that he is a traditional man so the people that call themselves christians will go to him and get uh, whatever it is that he is going to give them that they are requesting from him so they can get more money so they can get more members so this one said Akwakuko wants pastors to stop talking about him or he will come and expose them <laughs> and you know I will watch that <clears throat> Akwakuko came out on a social media on Facebook that's where I saw it he told pastors he said let me tell you something you guys should stop talking about me you guys should stop harassing me i am doing what i'm doing and i am not calling any i'm not calling your name i know what all of you are doing and i know all the uh, brainwashing you guys are doing i know all the puppy that you guys are doing to members and if you guys don't stop talking about me eh i'm going to come out here and expose all of you i am a traditional man I am a traditional man and I am not claiming that I am a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm worshipping God. What I'm doing is what I'm doing. So you guys need to get me out of your mouth too. If you don't stop talking about me, I will call me and call all of you name. Call name by name. He said, this man, this boy, he said, I am 23 years old. I have accomplished so much in you, all of you age, 40s, 30s. By the time I come, I come to your age, I will be up there. I have accomplished all. He said, most of you pastors that are talking about me, all of you, most of you are working for me. Most of you are working for me. I even have some of them that, that is in abroad. The pastors that is in abroad that is working for me. Some of them are in my office working for me. They are all pastors. He said, some of the boys in church. <laughs> God. <sighs> my people the, the boy said the boy said this is what he said he said there was this some pastors that he would do something uh, he will come and they will, because and for real for real when they come to his uh, uh, office he would do medicine for them and they would refuse to put their faces on them he said he would stop he would stop uh, doing you guys favor if you guys refuse to come and put your face to thank. He said when he finished doing work for, for people, that people will come back to thank him for or bring him something to thank him for what he has done for them. Uh, but when he want them to put their faces, their faces uh, on the camera uh, so that people will hear that yes, I did this is for them and they got this from coming to me and they are here to thank me. They don't want to show their face. So he said he will stop doing for the pastors if they refuse to show their face. He will stop doing for them anymore. So all these pastors that are, go, uh, that are going to him, he said, he told, he told you guys that if you don't stop talking, there was one that came out, I think, I think it was early this year too said all kinds of stuff about this young man say all kinds of stuff. so people were coming um so he came out very very angry he said for you to call my name i'm going to do so 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 a lot of people came out on the social media and pleaded with him a lot of people came out on the social media and asked him please do not and i think he listened to what people said he's a young guy he listened to what people said so I am here <clears throat> to support him. I'm here to support him. If they come to him and they don't want to show their face, don't do for them. You must.
just show their face. Do not agree to do anything for them if they don't want to show their face. They cannot continue to show. But I'm glad now that he's, he's thinking of putting you guys' face so that you guys will stop deceiving your members. He said, I am ready now to bring all of you out. I am ready now that after I do whatever I do for you guys, you start getting your members and start getting your money. You start talking about me from behind. And you guys forgot that I have all your stuff in my finger. I have your pictures. I have everything about you. And you guys are still talking. So you guys know when to go to him and get what you're looking for. But when you get whatever it is that you are looking for, you start talking bad about him. He said he's going to change his rules that you guys must show your face so that the people that are coming to your church will know. But uh, let me let me tell my brother, Akwakuko, uh, stop doing for them. Stop doing for them if they want to go. If they if they really want to worship God, let them worship God. Stop doing for them. Face and focus on the one that you are doing. You are not lying to them. You are telling them who you are. You are telling them this is what I can do for you, and they know when they come to for you to do for them. They are not appreciating what you're doing for them. Let them go, I beg. Let them let them go. They are not worth it. One thing I like about some people is when people come and tell me who they are, I believe them. This guy came out and told us that he is a, a juju man. That he is a... I believe him. Believe people when they tell you what they are. But the people that said that they are Christians, the people that said that they are... They are church uh, pastors are uh, behind going to him that already come out and said that he he is a traditional man. They go to him to make uh, medicine for them to get money. But they cannot come in the open to thank him. They have to. Every video I have seen about pastors that are going to him for one thing or the other is always at the back of the camera. They don't want to bring themselves in front of the camera because they are hiding from all of you that are going to give them uh, money. That's where they hide. They want to continue to deceive. They forget that you cannot deceive God. That yes, we are not seeing you. Yes, we are not seeing what you are doing. But God Almighty, that we worship, are seeing you. And uh, guess what? There was this guy uh, from Umbi. Say where my maternal home. Eh? This guy uh, went to do juju. Went to go get a, his a traditional whatever in in juju place. When he got there, hmm, he passed away. Inside the man's uh, place where he's doing his uh, medicine. That's when people know that he that's what he was doing. People has always uh, said that he's doing this, that he's doing that. And he denied and denied, denied. People were being deleted in the village. They blame him. He said not him. People were doing this. They blame him. They said it's not. They say he did. He said so one day he... <laughs> He went there and he did not come out. He died. He passed away there. So when he passed away, the man that owns the the juju place came out and told the family, "Say, hey, oh, come and carry your brother from from my house. But uh, I need you guys to pay me the balance that he owe me." So the family members said, "No, no. If you owe you balance, we don't know. We don't have hand in what is." We don't have a hand in what he's doing. If you don't want to bring him out so we can throw him where he belongs, I beg keep it, keep him. So all of you that are going to uh Juju place, trying to make it up, mix it up with the word of God, trying to trying to make God look bad, eh? When you get to these places that you are going, eh? The hands, the hand of God. We hold you in your neck like this, eh? The hand of God will make you, eh? Start screaming from there, eh? Start running out from there for what? How you are putting shame in God's? How you are making God look bad? If you know the type of God you are worshiping, you won't be doing what you're doing. 
the juju man wants you when when juju man gives you medicine if this is a medicine that the juju man give you to go and give so 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 person to do this they give you instructions they give you instruction on uh you do this you do this you do this but what you will not do if you do this you will get this you will get this you will get it but what you will not do is to let this medicine touch here if this medicine touch here uh the whole medicine is done then it will be after you but knowing the god that i worship when your hands are clean they will do and do as long as they will continue to do and god will confuse them so put it that place that the juju man told them not to put it and it will backfire may everything that you are getting from behind backfire on you may everything that you are getting to confuse children of god backfire on you may you put it exactly where they told you not to put it and when you put it there may you may you use your head to carry what you have done for yourself god bless you guys for watching thank you all so much